In this video we're going to be looking at the brand new image generator update that's been released for Grok 2. It's called Aurora. Now this was made specifically in-house by Elon and I assume his team working at XAI for creating images integrated with Grok. Now the first thing is I actually asked Grok tell me about your new AI image generator. So Aurora is a new AI image generator developed by XAI. So again, Elon's company and it's integrated with Grok AI Assistant, so Grok here, and it's integrated onto the X platform. And here are some key features and details for about the model. So it has photorealistic generation. Aurora excels at creating photorealistic images, providing high quality detailed outputs, can closely mimic real world visuals. Also the multi-model input, so it's basically beyond text to image generation or supports multi-model input which basically allows the users to edit or take inspiration from existing images and then it says the training data has been trained on billions of examples from the internet giving it deep understanding of various subjects so i said i want to create eight different prompts for me each individual prompt needs to have a famous funny or cultural icon or person in the prompt i did that specifically because again grok allows you to use famous people and like other ones without restriction so why not make it more engaging and fun and these are the final prompts that it did here so the first one was marilyn monroe so imagine marilyn monroe today dressed in a vibrant neon colored suit riding a hoverboard through times square she's got oversized sunglasses and is holding a giant smartphone taking selfies with fans the background is bustling with futuristic technology and digital billboards displaying her iconic smile so what i got was this now this ended up being my favorite one <laughs> even though the hand again here but just look through some of these um interesting i wouldn't say that's necessarily her smile that just looked weird um this one she had triple hands and arms and weird stuff and then this one without me saying anything <laughs> just what <laughs> what is that <laughs> the next one was Elvis Presley as a chef. So picture Elvis Presley in a chef's hat, cooking up a storm in a kitchen theme like in the 1950s. He's making his signature love me tender fried peanut butter and banana sandwiches with a jukebox playing in his hits in the background. The kitchen is all vintage deco with complete checkered floors. I do like those checkered floors. And there's a line of fans dressed in the 50s attire waiting to taste his culinary delights. This ended up being my favorite, but I mean, interesting food whatever he's making there i like the jukebox in the background we've got the floor i'm assuming these are his fans waiting for the food and just look at the face here and the hair that i don't know what you call that a comb over a quiff a comb over i'm not sure next one more detail on the food but just the eyes and the face just not elvis i like the jukebox though the jukebox again nice that's just not elvis what is he holding there the way he's holding that just doesn't work and then this Oh no! Anyway, the third one, Tom Cruise at a fashion show. Visualize Tom Cruise walking the runway at the Paris Fashion Week wearing a flamboyant oversized glittery suit that's a stark contrast to his usual action hero attire. Photographers flash their camera and fashion critics look both stunned and intrigued. The catwalk is surrounded by giant movie posters of, uh, movie posters of his films and the Eiffel Tower is visible lit up in the Fashion Week colors. This is the first one. I like the face. Those eye looks just a little bit cockeyed a little bit, but I like the blurry background of the Eiffel Tower and his movies I assume going on the way in the background it has a good draw distance in the background so it actually gives the image depth to some extent which um, so many images have struggled to have or consistently make in every image this one is just <laughs> yeah I like the Eiffel Tower in the background I mean it is an oversized suit and it is definitely glitzy which is what I've asked for all these lights in the background just look a little bit I don't know it looks a little bit stuck on so it's interesting this not bad <laughs> it's definitely oversized and his hands aren't bad the photographers here a little bit look a little bit i don't know stunned maybe not but i don't know don't mind that like the eiffel tower in the background and then this is just <laughs> oh, that's just uh yeah no jackie chan and the sky fight adventure envision jackie chan in a futuristic cityscape performing his signature stunts while wearing a high-tech armored suit he's dodging laser beams and fighting off robots with martial art moves all while trying to save a cute alien creature the scene should capture the essence of his action comedy films with neon lights and flying cars in the backdrop now this <laughs> minus his hands just again and whatever's going on with that finger there cute little alien in the backdrop it's random I, yeah i'll say that it's random this wasn't bad at least for his 
face, I think, though he still looks, looks, I don't know, as a body and, yeah, this one with the body movements and just looking more consistent, minus the hand again, it's better, I don't mind the alien as well, I wouldn't say it looks cute, that, that looks cuter, that just looks strange, this, <laughs> just, no, no, the little alien sticking out, and this one was just strange, just looks dismorphed and hands just look weirdly warped and sized to the image. And the alien, yeah, no. Okay, now we have Will Smith in a virtual reality game. See Will Smith stuck in a hilarious virtual reality scenario where he's supposed to be playing basketball in a VR court, but every attempt leads to a comedic chaos. The ball disappears, he accidentally jumps through a virtual hoop, or he ends up tangled in VR wires. The setting blend is known for sports with futuristic tech in a gym that looks straight out of Men in Black. Now, this does look like Will Smith, but I have no idea what's going on with a line with the basketball here even that one there just looks yeah it looks like him but i actually made a similar video or a previous video and i made it and it had an image of will smith eating pasta and uh, those are the fat the famous ones where he was you know eating pasta or noodles or whatever it was at the time and that was the benchmark for ai video and at the time i used grok to make that image but it was using the flux model and it came out so much better on the first attempt pretty much as well and it, it just had a higher quality and a higher consistency and it was just that much better. And then this, mm, yeah, I guess it looks sort of like a men in black sort of thing, possibly. It sort of looks like the outline of him. This is just, no, just god awful. And then this, meh, it's okay. Charlie Chaplin on a skateboard. Imagine Charlie Chaplin in his classic tramp outfit attempting to ride a skateboard through Central Park. He's comically clumsy, trying to maintain balance with his cane while ducks, dogs, and park goers watch it in amusement. The scene catches a silent film era's charm with a modern twist surrounded by autumn leaves and vintage park benches. So it sounds all right. It looks like Charlie Chaplin, but it also looks creepy in my <laughs> honest opinion. <laughs> This looks like a blend of Albert Einstein and I don't even know. <laughs> yeah, that's just no creepy as hell and just a random background, just no. And then this is just awful, though the foot on the board looks quite realistic with the shadow, but just dog and a bird. What, what is it? I don't even know. Just no. Then Oprah Winfrey as a superhero. So depict Oprah, Oprah, Oprah Winfrey as a superhero named the Giving Force with a costume that echoes her influential persona. Think a golden cape and a buck themed utility belt. She's flying through the air using her favorite things to solve problems with a backdrop of a vibrant city skyline. Her superpower, the ability to inspire and power through her words and when everyone feels value and heard valued and heard sorry there we go so the first one just looks weird just a head just looks warped to a body the hands there and oof, there is awful and then just just got like two capes going on i just no didn't like it now this was better hands at least are better because they're fists oh, but overall as an image it's an improvement and it looks more consistent and the face sort of looks like her and i like the sunset and the flow of the hair there and the city backdrop though it just still looks a little bit flat but i don't mind it there it's got like a nice bokeh effect wow that's just like a this is like someone's born drawn a silhouette body and plunked the head on top no <laughs> no that's just no we have george carlin in a time travel scenario picture george carlin in, as a time traveler standing in the middle of a roman coliseum giving a stand-up comedy routine about modern day politics it was okay it just looks weird and look at the background it just looks like it's just imposed in it doesn't look like it's got depth to it it's just missing that realism to it so i can see what they're trying to do but it's just yeah again not bad facial expressions roman helmet coliseum helmet check he's got that that's just weird in the hand there's just no and then this is just not what was asked for in the hands again there there's better but just random so not really loving any of those so now this brings me down to my final thoughts about the new aurora model and integrated with grok 2 so i actually think grok 2 itself as an update is really good and the things that you can do now and it's made it a lot more 
up to date with what ChatGPT can do. It still needs to bring in more features, but it is better. But this is a review about the AI image model itself, so Aurora itself. So the Aurora model comparison in comparison to the Flux model, I think is worse. Now, I think it has potential for sure, but right now what it struggles with is consistency and just overall, I don't know, the quality of the images look worse and it's actual understanding of what I'm asking for in terms of the prompts. And then it's struggling with its deliverability of the prompts as well. I just think it looks more amateurish or just more inconsistent as well. And I just, I, I like the fact that they've tried to build it in house and I think there's some very good potential, but it's just not there yet. So I think for the price, I think it's $8 still. At the minute, I think it's good value for what you get of being able to play around with the AI images. But what I prefer is having the flux model still because I'd prefer it to make one image instead of creating four separate image. I'd prefer one image that is pretty much good and great to use straight away or just regenerate it. Even if I have to regenerate it more times, which I've never really had to do when using the flux model with Grok. So yeah, that is everything. Those are my thoughts right now. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know if there are better ways to prompt to get better results with this AI image model, or if you think the flux model is better as well, let me know in the comments down below. But other than that, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.